Among countries in Southeast Asia, the Philippines is geographically one of the closest, if not the closest, to China. Historically, the social cultural relations between Filipinos and Chinese can be traced back to ancient times. The first groups of people engaged with by locals and native inhabitants of pre-colonial Philippines were the Chinese. Filipinos and Chinese began trading as far back as the 7th century. We have our history to attest that as far back as the Tang Dynasty, long before the discovery of the Philippines by Magellan, China and the Philippines already had relatively close relations in material and cultural exchanges. Indeed, the Chinese had traded amicably along the Philippine coasts for several centuries before the Europeans arrived in the archipelago. Even as early as 1417, diplomatic relations had already been established between China and the Philippines. Sultan Paduka Pahala, the King of Sulu, was probably the first Filipino diplomat when he sailed from the Philippines to China in 1417. Undeniably, the memo of the past tells us that bilateral relations between China and the Philippines already existed as far back as before the 10th century, and that the Chinese have not only traded amicably along the Philippine coasts, but had established friendly people-to-people -people relations and enjoyed time-honored friendship and cooperation for several centuries even before the Europeans arrived. However, it was not until the 9th of June 1975 that the official diplomatic ties between the People's Republic of China and the Republic of the Philippines was established. The 9th of June of every year has also been decreed through Proclamation 148 of former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo as the Filipino-Chinese Friendship Day commemorating the day that diplomatic relations were established between the Philippines and China. Philippines-China relations are important. When I became president, relations between the Philippines and China entered a golden age. The continuing friendship between our two peoples enhances the mutually beneficial relations between our two countries and contributes to peace and harmony in the Asia-Pacific region. That is the significance of my presidential proclamation declaring June 9 of every year as Filipino-Chinese Friendship Day. Under President Rodrigo Roa Duterte, bilateral ties between the Philippines and China have reached new heights. The relationship between the Philippines and China is important. One major reason is geography. The Philippines and China are located within each other's backyard, so to speak. So good relations between neighbors is always a priority. A second major region is reason is that China is involved not only in bilateral dealings but also collectively, such as through the ASEAN. A third region is that China's economy remains the most dynamic and fastest growing among the major nations and soon it may become the world's largest economy. A fourth factor is that domestically, the Philippines has a vibrant Filipino-Chinese community for whom business dealings with China are natural. A fifth factor is that infrastructure will continue to be important for the Philippines in the coming years and there is no country in the world that matches China's recent track record and capability in this area. One of the instrumental and pivotal factors that help in the establishment and strengthening of the official diplomatic ties between the Philippines and China is people-to-people -people relations. The Association for Philippines-China Understanding, or APCU, a non-government organization, NGO, based in the Philippines, was already active in promoting people-to-people -people relations between the two countries. The Association for Philippines-China Understanding is a private association promoting friendship between the Philippines and China. I am Chair Emeritus of APCO, which means Honorary Chair. During APCO's formative years, I helped formalize and register it with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The first Chairman of APCO was Alejandro Roses, 
was Secretary of Education of my father, the late President Tostado Makapagal. In the early 1970s, when I heard that Chairman Rosas was organizing a trip to China at that time, I asked him if I could go along. He invited me to join APCO. APCO was informally organized after China sent aid to Central Luzon flood victims in July 1972 and it was registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission in 1974. APCO helped in the establishment of diplomatic relations between the Philippines and China in the sense that it was an advocacy group. As an organization, APCO helps facilitate and strengthen Philippines-China relations by promoting non-government exchanges. Non-government exchanges is a key to Philippines-China relations. At the end of the day, the government is the body of the country, but the people are its heart. Thus, fostering exchanges at the people level, like what APCO does, as opposed to the government level, is the natural way to create ties between nations. APCU is currently under the leadership of Chairman and Secretary Raul El Lambino and its President Jeffrey Nam. APCU as of now has regional chapters in Baguio, Cebu, Davao, Angeles City, and Pangasinan. Over the years, far from the knowledge of many, APCU has silently worked on behalf of the two countries through the efforts and contributions of individuals and organizations from the ground and the upper echelons of Philippine society in espousing a mutual understanding between the Philippines and China. The association is very active in the conduct of the APCU Forum, which is a platform for a constructive conversation on current bilateral issues among policy and thought leaders, experts, and stakeholders to foster friendship, understanding, and cooperation. The association has also facilitated cultural, academic, and visit exchanges, economic trade cooperation, and partnership. We at the Association for Philippine-China Understanding, or APCU, believe that we have good enough reasons to acknowledge the opportunities that such historical roots open to us Filipinos. It is precisely in this light that APCU endeavors to foster and strengthen the ties between these two nations and two peoples, Filipinos and Chinese. As it is from the birth of APCU, it is in the best interest of both countries that the Association for Philippine-China Understanding will continue to aspire and carry out its vision and mission. Truly, in fulfilling the mission of APCU, it is my honor to present to you one of the initiatives of the Association together with the Chinese Embassy, this novel and newly launched award-giving body, the Award for Promoting Philippines-China Understanding, APCU. I see this initiative as rather opportune in recognizing the industry and contributions made both by renowned and ordinary Filipinos in reinforcing relations between the two countries. Even in these simple yet sincere gestures, we hope to encourage more of our fellow citizens and instill in them a renewed appreciation of our Filipino-Chinese ties. The award for promoting Philippines-China understanding is expected to help promote further the friendship between our two peoples. My wish for APPCU 2021 is that it will encourage the further work to constantly develop bilateral friendly cooperation, accelerate post-pandemic economic recovery, and inject new vitality into Philippines-China friendship. APPCU is an annual undertaking and each year there will be 10 laureates or awardees. Those who are eligible for awards are Filipino citizens who have committed themselves to the improvement and advancement of Philippines-China bilateral relations using their fields of disciplines and area of expertise. 
such as public service, media journalism, trade and commerce, and arts and culture and sciences. APPCU has three award categories. These are one, Hall of Famer. Number two, Outstanding Extraordinary. Number three, Significant Major Contribution. The APPCU nominees undergo three rounds of selection process, namely preliminary or the elimination round, second round of judging, and the third and final round. The 10 awardees for 2021 will be given recognition in a formal ceremony on August 6, 2021. I look forward to more productive years ahead of the award for promoting Philippines-China understanding. Thank you. As neighbors facing each other across the sea, despite differences, China and the Philippines boast geographically proximity, culture affinity, and a long history of friendly people-to-people -people exchanges. This friendship between the two peoples needs to carry on, move forward, and be passed down to the present and succeeding generations.